Hi! In this video, you'll learn how to fold the swan. For more information and direct access to specific steps, please click on the link in the description. The swan is a glider that combines stylish design and great flying abilities. Now let's get started. First, place the template with a Revolt logo on the bottom right corner. Step 1. Fold the top left corner and complete the circle. And try to match the edges of the paper with a reference line as best you can. Mark the crease. You can run your nail along the crease to help it stay in place. Step 2. Fold the top right corner and match the circle. Again, you can use a reference line to help guide you. Mark the crease. Step 3. Fold the plane in half. Using the reference line and also the yellow dashed line in the back to help guide you. And try to mesh the corner as best you can. Mark the crease. Step 4. Hold the plane like this. And now you can hold the plane firmly just behind where the yellow dash line reached the edge of the plane and fold the front as such. You can use the reference line to help guide you. And mark the crease. Step 5. Place the plate on the table. Now this step involves folding according to two folding lines simultaneously. So we can use a reference line to help guide you. Now take your time if you find it challenging. And then we'll fold it according to the reference line just like this. And now we can mark the crease. Step six. Flip the plane over, and now we will repeat step five on the side. So we'll use both reference line on both sides right here, and we'll match the corner and try to match the nose on the other side as well, and try to match the wings as well, and we'll mark the crease. Step 7. We will now shape the peak of the plane. Now hold the plane like this and hold the plane firmly just below the white area. And now you push down the beak and make the fold where the black and white area meets. And we can use the folding line to help guide you. Now mark the crease. And you can now shape the peak by holding the head and squeezing it flat. You can now shape the beak by holding the head and squeezing it flat. You're done! Congratulations! Now you can adjust the wings slightly upward to improve stability. And now for some pro tips, John Collins, the paper airplane guy. Woo! Nice work making it through the swan plane. A couple of tricky parts there with the head, right? But what a striking looking plane and a gentle, slow glider. Let me show you some of the adjusting. With the swan plane, you're going to want very flat dihedral, just slightly uh, angled upward. And <laughs> look at that face on that guy. I just love the way that looks. Uh, right left will be right here, and you'll need just slight little bits of up elevator. In fact, this paper is so accurate, you might even be tempted to put in some down elevator if it's just lifting a little bit too much and stalling a bit. You might have to go with a little down elevator here. but. The Swan Plane, great looking plane.
And just like the name implies, it's going to float gently through the air. For Revolt Toys, I'm the Paper Airplane Guy.